Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm right in my hands. is Twig, number one highly anticipated comic from Scotty Young and drawn by Kyle Stram. Colors by Jean-Francois Bellou. Uh, lettering, logo, and series designed by Nate Piecos of Blambot. All right, so Twig. It describes how, uh, itself as a bone-esque adventure. So gear, clearly geared towards younger readers uh, and a kind of like a fantasy quest, I think would be a great way of putting it. Um, it's it's a solid debut. It's really cute. The art is fantastic. The creatures are cute. You kind of want to hug and squeeze them. Um, the world is, is weird and goofy and fun. It really feels like Scotty Young and um, Kyle Stram are, are um, attempting to do their version of a Jim Henson world, of a, a, a you know, something out of the Muppets or just Henson's mind. Um, it really kind of reminds me of of that sort of of comic and world. Um, you know, it's the type of thing where you go by a hill and the hill has like eyes and a mouth and it's talking to you. I mean, there's literally a mountain that they go into that has eyes and a mouth. Um, you know, it, and it's solid like that. It's really cute and and reminds me a lot of the stories and the worlds that. I grew up watching, like I loved Jim Henson stuff. So um, it really resonates with me and nails down that feeling and that that world for me. So um, in in many ways, I think that the comic is like a massive success. It is really impressive what they've done and I can't wait to, to see more of it. So where the comic falls apart a little bit is the fact that it's a single issue. Uh, it is a monthly comic. And I think it overall would be so much stronger, so much better if it was done as a graphic novel. Um, one, if it really is geared towards kids, I think that's just kind of the market in general. Uh, but two, the story itself, like it's a great opening. I want to read more, but at the same time, it doesn't quite feel as you know full as, as you'd hope it would be. Um, you know, it sets things up really well and it leaves in a good spot for the adventure to begin. But like, I want more. Like it doesn't quite get, feel complete satis you know, satisfa uh, satisfaction about it. But overall, like, it's good. It re I, I want to read more, and that's a good thing. The fact that I want to read more, I want it as a graphic novel, I want to be able to sit there and escape for an afternoon reading this is all a good thing. I just honestly think the monthly release works against it a little bit. And, you know, it is what it is. So um, this is one I think it, it's really cool. I mean, the first issue, I think it's geared towards kids. I would say, like, middle grade. Um, but again, it's one issue, so I'm not hundred percent sure, but it, it starts off that it feels like that. Um, the art, as I said, is, is fantastic. Like the creatures are really cool. The world is great. Um, everything I think is just, it's fantastic. It really does feel like this duo doing their, their version of Jim Henson. Um, and again, like that's awesome. There's nothing bad about that. That's something that I, I love. I love, I love, I love. So overall, my my thing is great, great comic, great world, great story, great direction, great start. I want more. Um, I'm, you know, this might be one to wait and get a trade. It might be to get the whole thing. I don't know. We're going to find out as the, as this goes on, but it has me hooked. I want to find out more. I want to see where it all goes. So Twig out in comic shops now. You can go get it. we got a link beneath this video. Put in your zip code. It'll tell the comic shops near you. No shop, no problem. We do have some links where you can purchase your own. There'll be affiliate links, so we do get a small percentage by doing that. You'll support our site, so thank you. And just watch our video support us, so thank you for that. If you're into comics, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.